Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Apple AirPod Pro 2s. Now you can pick these up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 250 bucks. I repeat, 250 bucks. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now these come in one color, white, as we call it, white shoes, white. You got Bluetooth version 5.3, the IPX4 sweat and water resistant. Now that's on the buds and the charging case. You got the Apple H2 headphone chip with the Apple U1 chip in the MagSafe charging case. Now you got custom Apple drivers with high dynamic range amplifiers. You got active noise cancellation and transparency mode. You got spatial audio with adaptive EQ and dynamic head tracking. Now you got dual beam forming mics. That's gonna give you crystal clear phone calls. You got full touch controls for playing pause, skip and reverse tracks, answer and end phone calls, raise or lower the volume, and activate your voice assistant. Now the battery life on these is six hours on a single charge. So that's a total of 30 hours using the charging case. Now you also got quick charge. Five minutes of charge will give you one hour worth of playtime. Now the charging case is MagSafe compatible. So you can charge it with a lightning cable, a MagSafe charger, an Apple Watch charger, or any Qi wireless charger. Now the case also has a speaker, so you can use that to find my buds. You're gonna get low battery alerts and pairing alerts. All right, so all of that for 250 bucks, let's see what it is. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer three important questions. Number one, are these really worth 250 bucks? Number two, are these better than the original AirPod Pros? And number three, we're gonna put this to rest. Which ones are better, AirPod Pro 2s or the new Galaxy Buds. Then after that, I'm gonna rank these and see if they make it into my top 10. All right, let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Calm down. Okay, here we go. Apple AirPod Pro 2s. Now I'm going into this with a completely open mind. What I will say, as far as the original AirPod Pros, I love these for the call quality. The sound quality was pretty good. Noise cancellation, pretty good. But if y'all watch my videos, these did not make it into my top 10. So let's see if it's a new day and a new age. Okay? Right. No unboxing knife necessary. Right. Nice white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Let's see what you get inside. Okay. Designed by Apple in California. Okay, so you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. Let's see, uh, no troll stickers today. Negative, okay, flick of the wrist. This is gonna be your AirPod Pros. Okay, more flick of the wrist. Okay, Apple throwing something else in the box, okay. <laughs> no charging brick, but you do got, let's see, this is gonna be, angle level's increasing. Okay, you got USB Type-C, to lightning charging cable, and you got some different size ear tips. Now this is gonna come with extra small, small, large, and medium. Now typically medium is my size, but we're gonna try these out. Okay, now let's take a look at the actual case and the AirPods. Now right out of the gate, I will say they look exactly the same, okay? Let's see, um, but if you notice, you got the speakers on the case now. Okay, same lightning adapter, lightning charging port on the bottom. Okay, lanyard loop. Now it didn't come with the lanyard, that's a little bit disappointing. It should've came with that little string. Okay, pairing button on the back, about the same. Let's take a look at the AirPods themselves. Okay, classic Apple look. Now one of the things that I will complain about right out of the gate is I wish these would've came in black. Okay, I hate the fact that everybody got the same color AirPods. That's one thing about the Galaxy Buds. You got color choices, okay? Everybody don't wanna have the same color, especially white. These are not very clandestine, okay? You wanna rock these at work. You wanna rock some black earbuds, okay? To look a little bit more discreet, but it is what it is, okay? Now these have all of the vents, all of the mics. Everything is official tissue. Let's drop them back in, okay? And there it is. Okay, now look, now with the speaker, you got a little sound. 
Okay, that's new. You hear that? Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pause the video. We'll pair these up and start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's check all of the different ways we can charge up the case. Now, one of the things that I like already is the speaker built into the case. It's gonna let you get an alert when you're actually charging. Let's get and plug it in. You heard that little sound? This is the lightning adapter. Next, let's try the Apple Watch charger. Okay, charging up. Let's try MagSafe charger. Okay, charging up. And let's try wireless charging pad. There it is. Okay, so all of the charging accessories work. Now let's take a look at the charging case. Again, the same exact size as the OG AirPod Pros. On the front, you got your LED indicator. On the back, Bluetooth pairing button. On the bottom, speaker grill, your lightning charging port. And on one side, you got a slot for your lanyard. Now let's check the magnet strength. We're gonna start with minimum shakage. Okay, no movement. Intermediate shakage. No movement, maximum shakage. Ah! No movement at all. Excellent strength on the magnets. All right, so now let's try the first time pairing process and see how easy this is. Okay, we're gonna pop these open. Okay, heard a little sound. Let's hit connect. Okay, I like these sounds coming out of the case. Let you know everything is working. Let's do this in real time, okay? There it is, okay? Now you got your battery percentage for the AirPods and your battery percentage for the case. You hit continue, just like that. Less than two minutes, complete setup. All right, so before I go any further, I'm gonna do my personalized spatial audio test. Say continue. All right, so let me set these up. All right, so now let's take a look at the app settings. Now, in order to access this, you're just gonna to go to your Bluetooth menu, okay, and select your AirPods. Mine's I named Captain Kirk, because I'm Captain Kirk. You got a battery percentage for your AirPods and the charging case. You got your noise control, so you can turn on noise cancellation. Okay, <laughs> I just got extra quiet. You can turn them off. Wow, you could definitely hear the difference. And transparency mode. Now I said this before and I'm gonna say it again. Apple makes the best transparency mode out of all of my earbuds. Now the Bose, they did come in second right now, but I love these, okay? These almost feel like you're not wearing earbuds at all. Now you got your car touch controls for press and hold, okay? So I got mine set to noise cancellation and transparency mode. Make sure you do your ear tip fit test. Okay, now, like I said, I like to use the medium size and they fit me perfectly. You got adaptive transparency. You got automatic ear detection, okay? Connect to this iPhone automatically. Personalized spatial audio. Your microphone. You can enable your charging case sounds. Optimized battery charging. Show and find my. Okay, now I'm gonna test that out in a minute. I don't wanna put my address on blast. You got accessibility, all your serial numbers, model numbers, and your limited warranty. Simple and straightforward. Now there's another way you can access this. Swipe down, long press the volume, and you can raise or lower the volume and quickly toggle between noise cancellation, transparency mode, and off. <laughs> now that kind of made me laugh just now. A lot of times when you get cheap headphones or cheap earbuds, when you turn them off and noise cancellation, you don't really hear the difference. These you hear the difference immediately. Like right now I got them off, it just feels like I got two uh, Q-tips stuffed in my ears. When I put on noise cancellation, it gets even more quiet, but the transparency mode, this is my favorite. Okay, and you got your spatial audio. Simple and straightforward. Shoes tail is killing me. <laughs> All right, simple enough. All right, now say you misplaced your AirPods. Let's try to find my Buds feature. Now I blocked out my address. We're gonna hit play sound. Okay, wait for it to connect. 
I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. You hear that? Okay, now if you want to, <laughs> the sound is playing. Let me cover up my address. I can get directions right to it. Let's go ahead and activate that. And now, without showing y'all, <laughs> it's going to show you, you see, fastest route, and I can navigate right to these. Would you hear that sound? If it's quiet enough, you'll definitely be able to find these. All right, so now let's talk about the look, the feel, and the fit. Pencil style earbuds, y'all seen these a million and one times already. Okay, here's how they look. Okay. Bang. Here's the other side. Okay. All of your touch controls are in the stems. Let's go ahead and drop these in. Now I'm using the medium sized ear tips. Once you put them in your ears, you're going to get a little chime. Boom. To let you know that they're connected. Now, initial impressions. They feel exactly like the AirPod Pros. A nice, comfortable, tight fit. Very lightweight. Okay. Super lightweight. Now, let me do the head shake test. I'm going to start off with minimum shakage. Okay, no movement. Intermediate shakage. No movement. And maximum shakage. Ah, no movement at all. Now, let me say this. Doing maximum shakage in the house is not really going to help you when you go to the gym. Now, I'm speaking from experience. I use my AirPod Pros in the gym a couple of times. If you're a heavy sweater, all right, if you sweat a lot, now me, I'll be sweating on some Harry and Tubman type shit. When I do the decon bench and I start getting extra moist, giggity, sweating all over the place, these definitely start to move around. That's why when I go to the gym, I got to use earbuds that have wings on it or hooks. These are perfect for in your house, running errands, working, doing day-to-day -day activities, and light workouts. But for heavy workouts, I do not recommend earbuds without wings or hooks. Okay, so let me slap these back in. Let me show you how they look. Okay. I wish these was black. They would have looked a little bit more discreet. Now, y'all remember I used to call these the douche buds with that stem? Okay, the original AirPods had that long stem. That was extra douchey. The shorter stem, I like these better. Now, I used to hate these until I got the B&O EXs. <laughs> wow, I fell in love with those, and now I'm a big fan of the stem earbuds, as long as they sound great. And on the side note, y'all see me wearing glasses. <laughs> right, shout out to all y'all four-eyed bastards out there. I'm part of the community now. Okay, so now let's do the most important test, the sound test. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got Keisha Cole, I Should Have Cheated. Now, I'm gonna start off at max volume, Active noise cancellation turned on and spatial audio turned on. Okay, here we go. Birdman hands rubbing together. I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing, but I gotta give y'all one quick side note. When this song first came out, this was one of my favorite troll songs. Okay, now go ahead and play this song at home. I used to date this individual back in the days, right when the song came out, and she used to always accuse me of cheating every time I walk out the door. So when this song came out, every time I'm getting dressed to go out with my boys, I would play this song, I would sing the words mad loud, then I would go out and cheat. <laughs> if you're gonna kiss me, child, I was gonna do it. All right, anyway, now all jokes aside, here we go. One tap of playing pause. Like I said, I promise I'm not gonna sing. Here we go. Okay. Okay, all right, shoes just left. I think shoes know what time it is. Okay, super loud. Oh, crystal clear. Crystal clear. First of all, let me say, you can't accuse me of all the things you know that you are guilty of. And I see that it is easy for you to blame everything on me. If that's the case, I should go out and try do all the things you say I do. Boy, I can't continue to take this from you. I might as well have cheated on you. As much as you accuse me of cheating, I might as well have... Yo, these sound dope. 
As much as you accuse me of lying, I might as well have gone to the club. As much as you accuse me of clubbing, I might as well have. As much as you accuse me. Okay, hold up, hold up. Sit up, sit up. With some town, with somebody else. The Toast and saw you with some girl. And I didn't accuse you of something that I didn't see myself realize. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let's see if, um, let me take these out. Okay, let me take these out. Automatic pause. Now, look, y'all know I was having way too much fun. I was, I was having a little flashback just now. Y'all was loving it. Okay, okay, let me calm down. Okay, reel it in, Force, reel it in. I got to be honest with y'all. These sound great. Okay, great. Excellent highs and mids. Now I gotta do a little uh, bass test right now because that song doesn't have the maximum bass. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in. Okay, so y'all know for bass, let's take it over to, let's do our Nipsey Hustle. Matter of fact, for this one, we gotta go to YouTube Music because I noticed this song sounds better on YouTube Music than it does on Apple Music. Okay, blue laces too. Here we go. Okay, okay, let me calm down. Let me get ready. This is the bass test. Okay, blue laces too. Okay, okay. Baby, it's been so long. Okay, let me be quiet. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get it. Mogul, it ain't know that. Okay. Hold up. Let's take these out. Whew. Now, I do like the uh, in ear detection. Once you pop them out, they automatically pause your music. I'm going to do a quick test off camera, but I know in my heart of hearts, these definitely sound better than the original AirPod Pros. Now, I test, I just, y'all know, this is one of my favorite songs. I test all of my earbuds with these. I was very underwhelmed. I underwhelmed with the original AirPod Pros. That's why they didn't make it into my top 10. These sound substantially better. Now, I don't wanna just be talking out of my ass, so I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I'm gonna do a quick side-by-side -side test, and I'm gonna come right back and let y'all know, do these sound better than the originals? All right, so I just did a quick side-by-side -side test. Same iPhones. Same song, same settings, and it's confirmed. The new AirPod Pros, all right, the AirPod Pro 2s definitely sound better than the OGs, okay? It's totally noticeable. A lot of times you go from one version to the next version, Galaxy Buds to Galaxy Buds 2, and they pretty much sound similar. These sound way better than the originals, way better. Okay, now you got some actual bass. Now y'all know, I am a bass head, okay? I like songs with heavy bass. I like my music loud. I like to go crazy. I will say this, these, these are not blowing me away in the bass department. The bass is great, but I don't think these are gonna make it anywhere high in my top 10. I'm now, I'm about to, I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so let's get back to the regular testing. All right, so now let's check multi-point connection. How fast can you switch between two Apple devices? Now, if you notice, AirPods are connected on this one. This one is not. Let's hit play on the music. Okay, the music is playing. We hit pause, play on this one. Wait for it to switch. Look how fast that switched over. Now I'm on the second device. Let's hit pause. Let's hit play on the first device. Wait for it to switch. Bong, just like that. Excellent multi-point connection. All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect your phone after you take them out and put them in the charging case? So you see they're connected. Okay, so let's drop these in the case. One, there's two, hit close. Okay, fully disconnected. Let's hear some music. Okay, now here we go. Let's take them out. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, Two Mississippis. As soon as I said two Mississippi, I heard the broom, and you've seen it for yourself. All right, so two Mississippis, that's pretty epic. Now let's do one of the most important tests that I do, the one earbud test. This is a make it or break it feature for a lot of y'all, and it is for me too. Can you play music from one earbud 
while the other one is charging up in the case, basically doubling your battery life. Let's find out. Sit so playing the music. Okay. Now I'm going to take out the left earbud. Just put it in the case. Left earbud is charging up. The right side is playing. Okay, so let's put the left side back in. Wait for it to reconnect. Okay, it's connected. Now let's take out the right side. Drop it in the case. Charging up. Hit play on the music. The left side is playing. So this is excellent. You can use either earbud independently, basically doubling your battery life. Now the side note. When I said the same thing about the Bose, okay, these do not work independently. A lot of people were saying, well, if you want to, just take the earbud out and leave it on the table and use one at a time. That kind of defeats the purpose. The whole purpose of using one earbud while the other one is charging up in the case is to double your battery life. Let me explain it. If you work at a job for 10 hours straight, okay, the battery life on these is only six hours. So right now I'm playing music out of my left earbud. This one is charging up in the case. After six hours, okay, I can take this one out. Put this one in and start listening to music again from this side. Okay, so now I got a fresh six hours to listen to one earbud, but one earbud is better than no earbuds. That's why this test is kind of important. A lot of y'all work in double shifts. Okay, so later for six hours or 10 hours, you might be working 14 hours straight. So you need as much battery as you can. That's why the one earbud test is extremely important. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm gonna call up Amaya. Okay, let's get max volume. Yeah. Hi, girly. You see, now, I, I, I guess what I'm doing. I'm shooting a video. I was just about to say, this, this is the time of the day that we need to be communicating, okay? Not, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't, that ain't my hour, bro. I'm sorry. That ain't, that, what, what time is it over there? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. What you doing? Okay, minding your business. All right, well, you know, <laughs> I'm doing the same. All right, check this out, check this out. I'm doing an important video right now. I need you to give me your honest, no BS opinion. I'm, I'm using some earbuds. How do I sound? Really, Claire? All right, now take, take a guess what kind of earbuds these are. <laughs> yep, I got the AirPod Pros, the new ones, yeah. Okay, that, uh, hop off. Look, why you jumped on so quick, yo? You be jumping on Apple's Apple's sack, yo. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man. Uh, all right, I'm I'm gonna bless you with a pair, though. I'm gonna bless you with a pair. All right, so these sound crystal clear, though. Okay, I got to do one more test. Okay, what about now? Do you hear any wind? Uh, come on, yo, no, man. You, you are Apple's number one cheerleader. What about now? I got the wind right by my. You don't hear nothing. All right, I'm, I'm gonna buy you on um, my I Love Apple T-shirt and send it to your dorm. Yo, you, 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 yo, you. All right. Anyway, let me, let me call you back after this video. All right, bye. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, man, uh, 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 Amaya and my brother, they apples, they apples biggest uh, nut swingers. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. One thing I will say about AirPods, let me fix this little, um, the rubber, the rubber always comes out when I take these out sometimes. One thing I will say about AirPods, the call quality is amazing, okay? Now, a lot of times, I could, now, Amaya's, the reason I use Amaya is because that's the person that I talk to every single day the most. And I talk to her on a dozen different sets of headphones and, and earbuds. And whenever we're having a conversation, if we get into some real dirt, you know, some real deep thoughts and some real emotional stuff, She'd be like, Dad, take whatever earbuds you got, take those out and go put your AirPods on because I need to hear you clear and you need to hear me clear. AirPod Pros, all right? The call quality is amazing. Now, I, on the side note, I knew Amaya was going to jump on these, so whenever I buy a set, I had to buy one for her too. She don't watch my videos. She don't, she don't know I'm going to give it, give this here for dinner, at dinner the other day. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm going, let me say that again. I'm going to give them to Amaya when I go to dinner with her next week. She's coming back in town from college. Why am I telling y'all all of this? I don't know. Anyway, call quality. I'll be talking to y'all like we just friends here. I'm sorry. All right, anyway, call quality, excellent. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's check for latency. And what I mean by that is when you're watching a video, is there any lip sync delay from the person's lips to what you hear? Okay, so I got my classic Larry David clip, Lampin'. 
Okay. No lip sync delay at all. The spatial audio sounds incredible. These are perfect for watching videos. All right, so now let's check the touch controls. And on the side note, when you're wearing your AirPods, the touch controls are on those little grooves on the inside. Now these have skin detection. So watch, as soon as the earbuds touch my skin, they automatically connect. All right, so one tap for play and pause. Okay, let's get a little tap. Okay, the music is playing. Okay, double tap to skip to the next song. Okay, triple tap to go to reverse. Okay, now for volume, we're gonna swipe down. You see it's getting lower. Now to raise it, we swipe up. Okay, and for voice assistant, hey Siri, what's the weather for tomorrow? Okay, now if you press and hold on either earbud, that's gonna cycle between noise cancellation and transparency mode. So all of the touch controls work flawlessly. All right, so now I gotta do the most annoying test that I do on this channel, other than my singing voice, the baby crying test. We're gonna test for noise cancellation using a loud baby crying. Now, fellas, ladies, if y'all got kids, you heard this sound before. If it's your baby, it's pretty annoying. But if it's somebody else's baby, Okay, if you're on an airplane, you're on a bus, the train, you're somewhere in public, and somebody's baby is crying, that is the number one annoying sound on this planet, to me, by far, okay? And whenever I travel, this is the sound that I usually hear. So that's why this test is near and dear to my heart. So first, right now, I'm gonna start the baby. I know, fellas, we gotta do it from the name of science. I'm gonna start the baby, okay? Now, I'm gonna put on noise cancellation. Okay, now the sound dropped drastically. Now I'm gonna play some music over the baby crying. Okay, at max volume. Okay, now let me listen. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, shut the bar up. All right, hold up. <laughs> All right. Now I gotta be honest with y'all. I'm gonna rank these just for my in the house test, okay? Now I gotta take them outside and do some low end testing in the car. Now somebody just asked me too on a side note, what does me testing in the car have to show anything? Anybody who ever heard my car before, it's way louder than an airplane engine, okay? So that's why I test the low end sitting in the car. But in the house, okay, I'm gonna rank these. Y'all know I got three tiers. We got trash tier, okay tier, and top tier. And then we have the covenant God tier, Bose. I'm gonna rank these as top tier because honestly, I did hear a faint, a little faintness of the baby crying. Just, you know, between little parts of the song, I can hear a little bit of, eh, uh, just, a, just a tiny bit, a tiny bit. With the Bose and the Sonys, you don't hear shit. Uh, you, it's like there's no baby in the room at all when your music is playing. Okay, so I'm gonna rank these as top tier. But again, let me take them outside and do a little bit more testing and we'll test out transparency mode as well. All right, so I just finished doing some thorough testing and here's the results. Now I did the range test. I walked all the way to 50 feet, no drop connection at all. So excellent Bluetooth strength. Next, I test for transparency mode. These are top tier transparency mode and I'm gonna go on record right now and say these are my favorite transparency mode earbuds, by far, okay? These are the earbuds, if you're wearing these at work, Okay, and you wanna have a conversation, you don't gotta keep taking them out and putting them back in. You could fully talk to somebody, your voice is not gonna sound like a robot. You'll hear every single sound, every snap. You can hear your nails on the table. Every single thing is gonna come in crystal clear. Top of the top tier for transparency mode. Now, as far as active noise cancellation, remember the three tiers? I'm gonna rank these as high tier, top tier. Okay, not just top tier, high tier, top tier. So that's one step below God tier, okay, one step below God tier, but one step above top tier. Now, the uh, uh, the uh, Samsungs, these are top tier. I'm gonna rank these as one step above top tier. These are high tier, top tier. Okay, if that makes sense to y'all. If it doesn't, just understand this. Excellent active noise cancellation, excellent. Now, let me go ahead and wrap this video up, but I wanna answer those three questions. All right, so now let me answer those three questions. 
Number one, are the AirPod Pro 2s really worth 250 bucks? And the answer is yes, without a doubt, okay? If you're heavy into the Apple ecosystem and you want a pair of AirPod Pros, these are the ones to get. The sound quality is fantastic. They're nice and loud. The highs and mids crispy. Now you actually have some bass. The spatial audio is gonna blow you away. Six hour battery life. Okay, excellent call quality. You can use one earbud at a time. These are a triple major go, without a doubt. Totally worth the price. Next question, are these better than the original AirPod Pros? And the answer is yes. Now, like I said earlier, sometimes you don't really get an upgrade from number one to number two. This ain't one of those times, okay? This is a real upgrade. These are blowing the number ones out of the water. And the third question, which ones are better, the Galaxy Buds Pro 2 or the AirPod Pro 2? Let's find out. All right, so now we're gonna settle this once and for all. Samsung Knights versus the Apple Mafia. Who wins with the AirBuds for 2022? Now let me say this, y'all know me. I don't got no allegiances, I don't got no brand loyalty, I don't give a fuck about Samsung, I don't give a fuck about Apple, I only pledge allegiance to the hotness. So whoever wins this competition is the winner. Now after this, I don't wanna hear no bitching, I don't wanna hear no crying, I don't wanna hear no excuses. Oh Floss, you should've changed the EQ to this, you should've you know, tweaked the settings on that. These are both the flagship devices and both of them are set to my favorite optimal listening, uh, <laughs> listening EQ settings, okay? So we're gonna start off with the Challenger, okay? The Challenger AirPod Pros. Okay, now I got one of my favorite songs, Pop Smoke, Christopher Walken, max volume, here we go. Okay, now I'm not gonna sing, I'm actually gonna listen for about, about 10 seconds each. Wait for the bass drop. Okay, here it goes. Okay. So the head we gonna slide. Air that one with your rap. Okay. Okay, <laughs> woo! I, I ain't gonna front. The new AirPods, they definitely sound crazy. Uh, they definitely sound crazy. Let's throw in the Galaxy Buds Pro 2. Okay. Same song. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Birdman hands rubbing together. <laughs> Okay. Send the edit, we gon' slide. Every that one we around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh. Samsung Knights, I'm gonna need y'all to stand down and stand by. I gotta be honest with you, I think I like the AirPod Pros better. Now, this time I'm gonna do it real quick. Let's do that one more time. Okay, okay. Quickly throw in the Samsungs. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I gotta be honest with y'all. I gotta be totally honest with y'all. They sound very similar, all right? Very similar, okay? It's not a blowout. But if I had to choose right now, all right, I'm going on a trip. <laughs> I'm catching a flight in 30 minutes. Somebody says, which one are you gonna take? The Galaxy and the Galaxy Buds or the iPhone and the AirPod Pros? I'm gonna go with the AirPod Pros. Okay, I'm gonna go with the AirPod Pros. The spatial audio, okay? The music sounds, it, it sounds fuller. It sounds fuller now. I just wanna show y'all something real quick because I know Samsung Knights, I already know what y'all typing. Oh, 360 audio, head tracking, it's on. Everything is on. You know what I'm saying? Everything is on, everything is the same. Both of these, I have noise cancellation turned off. Just the regular headphones, okay? And the regular, regular earbuds. Headphones, I'm old school, I say headphones. The regular earbuds. I'm gonna go with the AirPod Pros in terms of sound quality, and I'm gonna do a quick test right now. I don't, I'm not gonna kill y'all again. I'm gonna do the baby crying test off camera, and I'm gonna let y'all know which one has better ANC.
All right, so I got one more special request. Now, one of my longtime subscribers asked me if I could specifically test the Beats Fit Pros versus the new AirPod Pro 2s and give my opinion on which ones would be better for the gym. Now, let me show you how the Beats Fit Pros. Now, these are the Kim Kardashian exclusives, okay? You see the wingtips? These are definitely gonna be better for the gym for me because of the fit. But let's see which one actually sounds better and has more bass. I'm gonna start with the Fit Pros. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice bass on these. Okay. Now let me try the AirPod Pro 2s real quick. While the sound is still fresh in my mind. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I gotta be totally honest with y'all. The Beats Fit Pros definitely have a deeper sounding bass. Let me try these on one more time. Yes. You know what the bass is like that, that the extra part of the bass, the, the tail end of the bass, these have a little bit more bass. So, for the gym, I would definitely recommend the Beats Fit Pros. Now we know the AirPod Pros are gonna have better noise cancellation. The noise cancellation on these is, is, is pretty good, but it's definitely not top of the top tier like these. But for the gym, these have a better fit and more bass. In terms of volume, pretty much the same. Okay, now, before I show y'all my top 10, I hope y'all appreciate this video because I just did some of the most thorough testing I did in a long time. I right, shout out the shoes for keeping me company. Here's my top 10 truly wireless earbuds as of September 2022. Number one on my list has not changed, okay? The B&O EX. Now, I don't care what nobody says, these are my favorite truly wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation. These are a little bit pricey, but worth every penny. I love these. I, I literally love these. Let's zoom out a little. That's number one. Number two on my list. Bang & Olufsen, the EQs. Okay, so we got the EX and the EQ. These are the two best truly wireless earbuds that I own. That's number two. Number three on my list. We're going with the new Sennheiser Momentums. Okay, these are number three. Now, I'm not gonna give y'all a whole soliloquy, all right, hashtag, big words alert, about each set of earbuds. I'm just gonna rank them. That's number three. Number four on my list. <laughs> The Bowles and Wilkins PI7s. The only thing about these is the battery life is not that great, but the sound quality is gonna blow you away. That's number four. Number five, one of the most underrated set of earbuds, the DVLA uh, Geminis. Now, when I first got these, the software, all right, the software was so trash, but they did a bunch of updates, and y'all know they sent me a new pair because I had an issue with mine. They stopped charging. The company sent me a new pair. These are number five on my list, okay? The sound quality, active noise cancellation, but the sound quality, all right? That's number five. Look at shoes. <laughs> number six on my list, the techniques. All right, the new techniques, these is amazing, okay? The old techniques was amazing, but these are just as amazing. These are number six. Number seven, Master and Dynamics MW08s. Now, I do got the MW08 Sports also with the carbon fiber case. Same sound, though. All right, same sound, same ANC. Okay, so that's uh, seven. Number eight. Okay, so now we got some movement. Number eight. I'm going with the new Bose Quiet Comforts. All right, the Quiet Comfort 2s. They really upgrade the sound quality on these and the God tier. God tier noise cancellation. Number nine. Speaking of God tier noise cancellation, the Sony. All right, the Sony, the M4s. All right, these are the newer versions. God-tier noise cancellation. Now, out of all these earbuds that you see on the table, these have the most ANC, but Bose is number one. Now, number 10 on my list. This is where it gets interesting. You would think it would be the Galaxy Buds Pro 2 or the AirPod Pro 2s. No, neither one of these made my list. Now, this is why I did the thorough testing off camera. I put both of these, all right, just for fun, I put these against each other. These ones, so I had to cancel these out. Now my number 10 list on the list 
is the Clips T5 2 ANCs. So I put these up against the AirPod Pro 2s, and these have more bass. Right? The sound quality is just better. It's just better. The spatial audio is amazing on the AirPod Pro 2. The connectivity, everything is great. Everything is great. Okay, but look, man, somebody can't make it. And if I had to choose between the AirPod Pro 2s and the Clip T5 2s, I like bass. Now, you might like Mahatma Gandhi's greatest hits. You know what I'm saying? You, you might be um, into Beethoven and Mozart or Cyndi Lauper. You know, whatever. Depending on what kind of music you like, you might value the spatial audio and the lossless audio from the iPhones a little bit more. But me, I'm into Mob Deep. I'm into Tupac. I'm into Biggie Smalls. I'm into music with a lot of bass. These have more bass. So these are more towards my lifestyle. So these are number 10. These will be number 11 and number 12. Okay, then after that, everything else let me say this now when i rank my top 10 depending on what channel you watch i don't know who your favorite uh tech reviewer is i uh, tech reviewer me i'm just a regular guy so my opinion you got to take it with a grain of salt all right there's no right or wrong answer everybody's gonna have different opinion everybody's ears sound different every time i do one of these headphone videos or these earbud videos i read the comment and somebody says oh i got these you was right they definitely sound crazy and there's always one person that says oh i got these and i gotta disagree with you i didn't like them that much it's everybody's gonna have different tastes different ears different sounds <laughs> you know it, it, there's no right or wrong answer so this is just my personal opinion but as you can see by all of the earbuds on the table, I am an earbudologist. I have a PhD in earbudology from the state of New York City, New York State. <laughs> somebody somebody wrote to me, I said, this, the city of New York State University. I, the city of New York State University has certified me in earbudology. So you can, you can understand that I do hear a lot of different earbuds. So these are my rankings. Anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this up. AirPod Pro 2s. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving these a major, major, major go. Like I said, if you're heavy into the Apple ecosystem, you're going to love the sound quality. It's a real upgrade. Crispy highs and mids, these could use a little bit more bass. The bass could be deeper, richer, and fuller. They, they need to have an uh, EQ. Uh, these need to have a separate AirPods app where you could customize the EQ settings. All right, if they would have had that, that could have made it better because these need a little bit more bass. But if you're not really heavy into bass, you're not going to care about that. These are going to sound amazing. You're going to have excellent battery life, excellent call quality. You're going to be able to connect from your Apple Watch to your MacBook, to your iPad, to your, to, to your iPhone. All your Apple devices are going to connect seamlessly. Not to mention, you're going to look trendy as fuck. All right, you get a set of these, you go to Starbucks, okay? You pull out your suede, your suede t-shirt right, with your penny loafers. Okay, and your mock neck, you're going to be doing it big. Okay, you, everybody knows these are the trendiest earbuds on the market. Even if you don't really care about sound quality, like Amaya. Amaya don't care about sound quality. You know how many sets of, sets of earbuds I'm like, Amaya, I got these DVLA Geminis. These will blow you away. She's like, man, get them shits out of here. I don't want those. I want the AirPod Pros. Why? Because these are the trendiest earbuds out. Okay, so if you look at these, these got the floss factor, the flex factor, whatever you want to call it. Anyway. AirPod Pro 2s, triple major go, white shoes approved. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. And for this whole week, I, this whole week, we're going heavy with Apple. Okay, we're going to do the iPhone reviews coming up soon. I got a bunch of new Apple Watch bands. We got a bunch of iPhone cases. You know, we got to finish this Apple stuff off strong. All right, so Samsung Knights, as usual, stand down and stand by. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.
Spock won the beam up. some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things, subscribe to Flossy Carter, he does reviews of all the latest technology, the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck, the Beats by that doctor guy, and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at, you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.